I hope the days come easy and the moments pass slow and each road leads you where you want to go. And Choosing our SMART goal was based on our assessment data. We were looking for ways to improve student achievement, so we created a science vertical team. At that point, we met as a staff, and we discussed our science and reading assessment data, and we determined to focus on science vocabulary as our vertical team. After reviewing assessment data, the staff collaborates and determines the focus of the SMART goals. The vertical team leader is involved in a district cohort group that strives to improve instruction in elementary science. Savannah then returns to the staff and shares instructional ideas to help prepare the staff to create a plan of action. At this vertical team meeting, we discussed different ways that we've incorporated science vocabulary in each of our classrooms throughout this year. Okay, um, thanks for coming to vertical team this morning. I just wanted to touch base on a little bit of the vocabulary that we discussed earlier this year and maybe how we're incorporating it um, in our classrooms, whether it be in science or calm arts or math. Um, anybody want to share some ideas? something we just did recently actually we did um we're working on plants right now and so we tied it in with calm arts and determining importance and i found an old story from one of our own phases <laughs> and we did a project with that though where they had to fact find and it was on carnivorous plants so it was a little bit more fun more than i think things that they don't normally read about but we tied in like photosynthesis and we tied in um chlorophyll and words that kind of go along with it along with an investigation that we're doing so we just kind of pulled it all together Every week they have spelling words, and so we've incorporated science vocabulary in those spelling words each week. So, and they have to write a sentence using it, and they also have to define it. So it's really good for them to keep that in their vocabulary. That fitness test, and I incorporated some pushing and pulling motions into their tests, so for the force of motion. And we've been growing chrysalises in our classroom. We're up to four, so we've been working right along with our plants and animals for fourth quarter. Um, talking about what we observe, putting it in our science journals, documenting all the things that our caterpillars have needed to turn into Christmas. So hopefully we'll get better for us soon. I have a sheet that says like my prediction or my inference and then we actually find the real definition. Um, so we practice, you know, inferring um, at the beginning of every that. Um, mm -hmm. and inside the box and I'm having them use their nonfiction. It's my second grade, so they're using nonfiction text and part of it is highlighting um, important words in the text. So they're kind of determining importance but they're using nonfiction and getting some of the science. On, um, science and incorporated lots of songs and speaking parts and um, even some props and things to help with our um, program. So our whole program, our music program was devoted toward science and vocabulary, which is pretty awesome. We just uh, finished rocks and soil, and with some of our grade level money, we bought some awesome rocks and minerals, and so we used a lot of these vocabulary words. But one of the um, rocks that we're most intrigued with had actual magnetism in them, so they got to see how this rock had magnet in it, so it was very, very cool. But who knew rocks could be so interesting? They did. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They had to be the chicks. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we've been predicting the temperature every day too, um, and finding the temperature that's the closest to our predictions. Oh, so, very good. That's cool. That's good. And they've been cheating because they've been looking it up on the internet. They just had to look up each kind of um, carnivorous plant and write down facts that they found okay. about it and draw a picture. Okay. Yes, the Venus yeah. flytraps and butterworts. Um, butter yeah. All those fun things. Bladder One of my students is writing the Venus flytrap. Oh, oh, wow. Really? Yeah. And we're growing ladybugs. We'll feed them. I was going to say, well, what are my chrysalis? I'm like, well, we've got ladybugs going in our room. Wow. So, and on the district um, PD day when we were discussing science. And um, I do it at the beginning of the year. And it's a really, really easy way to get the kids excited about science and a great way to collect all of their science materials. It's just a lab coat. Um, we glued on some science materials and some science tools, and they use it to collect all of their science 
information throughout the whole year so that it's all together. Um, and I brought a piece of paper for each of you if you want to make one. All you do is fold it toward the center and then make the little collars on the lab coat. And I've seen a couple other people do it. Um, some of my other colleagues at the PD, PD day decided not to put it on the folder, but to actually just make it then into a foldable project. And then they put some information inside it or on the back of it or did other things with it. But it's kind of a cute little way to make a lab coat. Um, and that was one of the ideas that I brought back with me that would be hands-on that I could use right away. Spurred on by our science grant from Sonic Limates for Learning, we have made science a priority in our classroom. The children have been active scientists all year. From wearing protective goggles to data collecting in our lab coat science journals, we have brought science to our daily lives. Scientific inquiry in our classroom has included many hands-on activities. We have made objects sink and float and have made matter change forms. The children have explored using their senses, predicting the weather, using measuring tools, and we are currently waiting for four chrysalides to morph into painted lady butterflies. As we sang in our first grade program, everybody's a scientist, and that model is held true for us this year. As a music teacher at Sunny Point, I believe that it is important to reinforce curricular subjects in the music classroom. From the knowledge that vertical teams have provided to our building, I have been able to incorporate the GLEs of science into the classrooms at each grade our level. Our second and fifth graders have participated in sound science experiments, incorporating the vocabulary of vibration, pitch, and volume into science experiments in the musical classroom. This year, our first graders participated in a musical called Everybody is a Scientist, written by our staff, incorporating science vocabulary such as the scientific process, habitats, weather, force and motion, and magnets, through both speaking parts and through song. that our staff brings back from district professional development opportunities, we are able to incorporate science goals not only in the regular classrooms, but also to our special classes. Our district has a community advisory council that consists of community members, business partners, and district administrators. I presented to the council the positive impact that science professional development has had on student achievement in our school. <laughs> beginning of the year, the staff uh, took some time and looked at data in communication arts, math, and science. Looked for areas where maybe our school uh, wasn't doing quite as well as we had liked to do and as we expected and our students weren't quite performing up to the standards that we had set as a staff. 
from that, our vertical teams then took a look at those areas and how we could make that as a school-wide initiative uh, an area for improvement. The vertical team sat down for several meetings over the course of the year, uh, spent numerous hours looking at the data, and also determining instructional strategies and where those areas could be supported throughout uh, the school in, in all grade levels and content areas. From that, uh, through the years, the scores have dramatically improved on our state standardized testing to the point to where now we're a top 10 school in the state uh, on a regular basis in our science curriculum areas.